This video will show you how to create your own root and sync folders in Qbox, and how to invite shared users to your folders. When signed in the web dashboard as the account owner from the Files tab, you will be shown your root folder if you have one, and any root folders you've been invited to. If you already have your own root folder, from the Tile or List view, click your root folder to see the current sync folders. Click the Actions button at the top right and click New Folder. Add the name of the new sync folder. You can then add your shared user's email addresses. If you don't have your own root folder, click the Add button at the top right. You will be guided to create your own root folder and sync folders. You can then add your shared user's email addresses. Let's next show how to invite shared users to a sync folder. Sign in the web dashboard as the account owner or team member with admin permission. Starting with the tile view, click on the root folder to see your sync folders. Click the three dots for the sync folder you'd like to share, and then click Share. Click Add at the top right. Add the email address of the person you'd like to share the folder with and specify the permissions. Regular users can save changes to files and add new files. Admin users can do the same, but can also create and delete subfolders as well as delete and rollback files. Click Send Invitation. Users who are logged into Qbox Explorer will then see the sync folder start downsyncing on their system. Users who do not have an account will show as invited and then have an email in their inbox with instructions to create an account and set up Qbox Explorer. As a reminder, your Qbox account is billed based on the number of shared sync folders. You are not billed for adding additional subfolders, files, or users to a sync folder. However, if you invite a user to only a subfolder, it will then make that subfolder billable in addition to the sync folder it's part of.